Okay, so now we are on the last part for this model, which would be the thing that feeds the bullets through the magazine and the end. So I just thought of this. I don't know why I didn't show it before, but basically, if you want to know you've done it right, everything will line up on the other sides. So there is one mistake I did do on the first side. This piece was originally one stud over. Just put it right there or else it won't work. So basically, if it lines up, like this axle, the black one here, if it goes in there, and you know, like if this uh, white one here lines up with that, if all of this stuff lines up at the end here, if this lines up, and if this lines up going just over here, and all this stuff, if all that works, then you've done it correctly and there isn't any reason why you know it shouldn't work so just put those two pieces off to the side and now we'll get started on the middle so we're gonna start off with the piece that I had the most trouble making in the entire P90 model not just in the magazine and that is the ammo pusher or whatever it's called so you need three or four of these pieces and there aren't they aren't as common as other types of its pieces so they are six studs long and you know that's why they're not as common you just don't see them as much in these sets I don't even know where I got mine from but basically you need four of them for this whole thing so you're gonna take one of these connectors and a five stud long axle and you're gonna take two of these put them on each side like this just like that now you need two pins and you're going to put them on there just like that I need to move this light closer so you put them on there just like that and now you're going to take two of these pieces feels like I'm missing part of this thing But I'm not, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, I'm not. Okay, so you take two of these pieces and you just attach them onto here, or onto each side. Just like that, so that this piece doesn't move up and down at all. And now you're going to take a, no, not one of those. You need another one of these pieces. You're going to put it right in the middle. Just like this. Or it doesn't really matter that much which way it goes in. But basically you just need to have it in there like that with the axle going through. Now you need to put another axle through the end of it and then you put the two uh, spacers on it just like that and I just need to put two more of these pieces on the end facing in the opposite direction as the first one so since the first one was in like that like you just need to have them crisscross so the first one um, it had that cross for the axle up here and the circle down here so these ones need to have the cross down there and the circle up there like right. yeah you guys understand you're all smart people watching this so now you take oh no first we'll do the elastic in this one it it needs to be pretty massive if you want to load the magazine all the way up like this thing is stretched at least a foot and a half at its max, that's about how much you need. So you put it through this first hole right here, and then take the other end and put it through there, just like that. And then you just need to pull on it really hard and just knock my tripod over. So you need to have it on there like that, and then you actually want to grab 
one of these sides and pull it over to the other side like that and so that it's coming like straight out the back just like that see and you got it one on each side and yeah so now you can just put this stud on here or no let's put it on no it needs to be going on this way and then you just put it on top of the elastic like that and this piece was definitely the most difficult to create I mean like it's so simple but it was the most difficult piece in the entire model to make just because I had to get it the end to curve and it was just very for some reason it was very difficult for me to come up with it so now we can actually start putting all of our pieces together and like we don't need to make this yet because that goes right at the very end so let's take the right half actually no we don't need that one right now we're taking the left half we have to put this piece in there just like that and then wrap it around here and under that beige piece and on there oh crap I was wrong I was wrong so you actually do need to put this green piece on the other side I was right about that Got it. Okay, so now it should look something like that with the green piece on this side. And it's attached onto there. So now we can just take our other half and let's just pull this down quite a bit. Now let's attach our other side. And again, just line up the bottoms. And it will go together. You just need, there's just a lot of pushing and pulling involved with getting all this stuff to stay together. And now, just as a test, I yeah, forgot a piece. I remember what this was for. I must have taken it off of here. Now you can just pull up, down, whichever direction you want on this really, just to see if it works. And it looks like it does. I got this green piece on wrong, just realized that. Okay, I'm going to try and take it off now. Okay, so... It actually goes on like this. I mean, like, if you take it off, you can see that piece in there. You actually need to put it on facing this way. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, so since it's, like, just been built it will have to be sort of like worked in with the elastic and stuff like that because this is a new elastic and everything and I'm just going to go over like all the stuff that needs to like how some things need to be so this piece here has to be pushed over like this way as far as it can go or else the bullets won't feed properly you have to make sure that everything is connected securely like just squish everything down and together so that you can have like the best possible fit up here and everything so that it rotates easier and I don't know, that's basically it now we can attach this piece which we made earlier on actually no this piece goes on very last so oh my god this bipod is crappy so now you can take one of these seven stud long pieces and these longer pins 
and just put it right through the end. Now you're going to take this piece and put two more of these larger pins through the side and I don't know you can put these on any side you want it doesn't really matter I'll put it on this one and then put it down there like that and just cover it up with another one of these yeah and actually these pieces have to go like this so that oh crap no nope. I know what those pieces were for now Okay, so you need to take these pieces off, just put this thing back on there without them, cover it up. Then you put these two pieces on top of there so that you can attach this piece. So you just, this red piece, it goes in this little three stud gap right here. And you might have to, like, shove your finger in there to try and get this up or just like try and attach it to these pieces right here or no I know what you can do um, try pulling back the uh, slider or whatever it is on the inside as much as you possibly can and you could use that to push down on the pieces actually no that doesn't even work okay I don't know, I'll just keep on trying. This is very hard to do sometimes. Okay, so I've got one in. I guess I'll just take this part off. Okay, that was very difficult to do, but I did it. Okay, there we go. There we go. That was very difficult to do, but I got it attached, and now oh, this piece fell off. And now your what the heck? Oh god, that's so dumb. Okay, yeah, I don't know what's happened here. I guess I could just take it out. So you could take out this six stud long piece and put it in a five. I'm gonna look for a five. Okay, I found one. Yeah, got a five stud long axle. I'm just gonna put it in there. And there you go, you've got your magazine completed. I need to find some bullets. I don't know where I'll want bullets be. There's a bunch in this bag here, I think. Yep, there's a ton. Okay, so let's just see if it works now. 